Tag. Um, gotta be English, right? Well, hi there. This is me, Joseph. I'm a German GIS and web developer, and this was my expression when I decided to learn some native app development. If you love maps or data visualization and find yourself in a similar situation right now, then I welcome you to the very first geotorial on my channel. Don't fear the natives. Let's dive in. Hi there. For anybody who doesn't know me yet, which might be everybody, here are some facts about me. German. What else to say? On this channel I will share my knowledge about GIS, map making, web development and such. And you just entered the very first tutorial of my channel. How to create an interactive dashboard with a map and a chart in a mobile native app. Disclaimer! I picked up this topic pretty recently, so I am by no means an expert in the field of app development. But what you eventually get out of this tutorial is the knowledge about three things. Easily start a mobile app project by solely using your knowledge as a web developer. Create an interactive dashboard with a map and a chart. And add interactivity and animation to your dashboard. So this tutorial is targeting people who already have some knowledge in data visualization, cartography, web development, and who would like to expand their horizon to mobile app development. But I will try to explain the steps we take in as much detail as possible, so even beginners are able to follow this tutorial. So what are we actually going to develop? Because we are recently bombed with charts about the coronavirus the pandemic uh, and we are probably pretty tired of it i was thinking why not just doing that using covid 19 data by country we are going to create two components in our dashboard one will be a line chart that follows the covid 19 tracking design by the great team at the financial times newspaper here we will include reference countries and a highlighted country, which are all exchangeable. The user will also be able to switch between the data about death and confirmed cases of the coronavirus. Secondly, there will be a map which highlights the well highlight country and colorizes each country as a choropleth map based on the selected data in the chart. Highlight countries can be changed on the map as well by clicking on them. It also adds a zoom and pen feature, so smaller countries are visible and the user can explore the map in much more detail. There's also a date picker, where the user can choose the date he wants to visualize on the map, and that date then also gets highlighted in the chart. Now that we know what this tutorial is all about, let's add some geolic flair to it. Imagine we are in the 19th century and I am your German travel guide, the polymath and geographer Alexander von Humboldt, with whom you are going to explore the remote places of Latin America, or in our case, the world of mobile development. Come with me on this journey. Ah, and as a first advice, let me tell you, don't fear the natives. Just one more thing, I really like to create content like this, so if you enjoy this too and you want to see this in the future as well, then please subscribe to my channel so you will not miss any episode. You can also find an overview, of course a map, of all the geotorials and episodes on my website geolic.net slash geotorials. So make sure to check it out too. See you next time. Tschüssikowski.